That is John Legend, all of me. This is Breakfast Tights. Phil, uh, so are you getting ready to drape yourself in the cross of St. George and to celebrate our patron saint's national day? Well, it seems you're not alone. A new research has shown that people living in England appear to be shy of celebrating their national day. Uh, with Scotland gearing up for a referendum on breaking away from the Union and St. Patrick's Day becoming bigger and bigger with each passing year. Is it time English people embrace their heritage and wave the flag with pride? Well, I'm joined right now on the line by the chairman of the English Democrats, uh, Robin Tilbrook. Morning, Robin. Morning, Phil. Happy St George's Day. And to you, sir. Uh, so can you start by telling us what the research says about people's attitudes towards St George's Day, uh, especially in our area? Yes. Um, well, um, we've got um, 55% who don't know when St George's Day is. Um, That's incredible, Robin. And um, 89% who don't actively celebrate St George's Day. But 22% um, of people are proud of our national day and 13% of people do know the history behind St George's Day. So I'm, I'm quite surprised by that statistic. 55% don't even know when it is. Uh, are you surprised about that? Um, well, I don't know, really. I mean, I think um, the thing is, of course, it, St George's Day isn't um, given any sort of official recognition. And if anything, it's uh, sort of more or less officially discouraged in most parts of the country. So... I, I think that it it is um, the the results show that actually there is a sort of residual level of support because I think one of the things that's, that's quite interesting there is twenty two percent saying that they are proud of our national day at a time when nothing's being done officially to promote it and unlike St Patrick's Day there there isn't a a big brewery like Guinness um, pushing the <laughs> uh, pushing the uh, the idea of celebrating it. Well, that's right indeed, because uh, I logged on this morning and so many people were on sort of social media celebrating St. George's Day, uh, uploading pictures of English flags, things like that, yes. which is all rather nice to see. But it, it, do you think, though, it, it still doesn't enjoy the same level of popularity as uh, the Irish counterpart? No, that's right. Um, but, of course, that's partly uh, to do with um, Irish nationalism being um, you know, much more um, in your face, as it were, uh, than English nationalism. Uh, and uh, it's also partly, as I say, to do with the fact that Guinness have spent uh, many millions of pounds on uh, promoting it. Um, we're, we're starting to get that in England. Um, uh, the Bombardier is uh, being pushed as the uh, beer to drink oh, yes, for St George's nice Day. And, and so, so we are starting to get this, this movement. And also I think people are becoming more aware, but we're, we're still at quite a low level. So other than obviously encouraging um, a Bombardier and things like that, what else are you doing to encourage people to actually take part in St George's Day? How can you get them involved? Well, I mean, what, what, what uh, we do is, of course, we, uh, we, we're um, campaigning for St George's Day to be um, an, a, um, a national bank holiday for England, um, to put it on the same level as um, St Andrew's Day in Scotland or St David's Day in Wales. Um, and um, so... So far as our campaign's concerned, um, we're doing everything we can to inform people. Um, so far as um, getting, uh, doing activities ourselves, we always do have a celebration of St George's Day. Um, and we've got a, a dinner this coming weekend, which, which um, is a national dinner for our members um, and uh, supporters up in Barnsley. Um, and um, we, we also generally... Um, members of the English Democrats do get involved in St George's Day events actually on the day, like today. And uh, the research suggests, uh, it says, I'm just reading it now, uh, there's a lack of English pride in this country, but what's our knowledge like when it comes to English, English uh, history and heritage? Well, it's not, it's not terribly good, but then, of course, um, we're not actually taught very much about English history um, in uh, English schools anymore. Um, Unlike uh, in Scotland, where um, Scottish history and Scottish uh, culture and so on is, is taught um, as as part of the civic studies, uh, in England, if if there's any um, teaching along those lines, it's all about Britishness rather than Englishness. So how can we uh, encourage people to actually improve their knowledge uh, to English history and heritage? Well, I, I think I think um, England people in England are waking up to the idea that. Um, um, obviously, if the Scots feel that they're Scottish and the Welsh feel they're Welsh, um, we, the English, can't be British all on our own. So people are are becoming more aware of it. And actually, we saw the results of this in the 2011 census, which showed that more than 60% of the uh, people who responded to that said that their national identity, in other words, which country they personally identify with, um, was English only. Um, and um, less than 30% said that they were in any sense British. So... That's 32 million odd people who um, yeah. 
said that they were English only, and that, that, that's quite a significant step um, in uh, in the direction that's already happened in Scotland and Wales. In England, you know, we're, we're now becoming more English, and uh, that, that's a process I think which is is now going to be unstoppable. It is uh, fascinating to to hear that you know fifty five percent don't even know when St George's Day is, so they're going to be quite surprised when they see loads of English flags <laughs> around their street being draped up. Well, they, might, they, might, they might do. I noticed when I when I was coming into the studio that there were several people wearing, several men businessmen wearing um, St George's ties and things like that. So I, I, I do do feel it is uh, it, it, people are becoming aware of it, but it's it's a slow process, and of course it it, it would it would make a big difference if there was any official recognition of it. Well, Robin, I'm going to celebrate tonight with uh, a nice pint of Bombardier, I think. I think that's going to be rather nice. Uh, Robin Tilbrook, Chairman of the English Democrats, happy St. George's Day, and thanks for your time. Thank you very much.